or for countless local talent to pursue their dreams. Meet Adrian Arsht Center board members Valerie Riles and Florine Lithcutt Nichols. Here they are sharing a little bit about the Performing Arts Center's history with this group. 60 years. They both are a wealth of knowledge about the history of arts in Miami and the Adrian Arsht Center. Florine Lithcutt Nichols told us she moved to Miami in 1967 with a touring company from New York. She was a chorus dancer. So I always said to my roommate, I'm going to come back to Miami and I'm going to open a school. She says, I know it. I know you're going to do that. She's been a board member at the Performing Arts Center for more than 30 years and part of the process since the Arts Center's inception, even taking part in the original design committee. I came when it was um, an idea and a dream on a piece of paper by Parker Thompson and the wonderful crew of people that he worked with. Valerie Riles is the VP of Board and Government Relations for the Center. She was born here in South Florida and grew up in Fort Lauderdale. She attended Fort Lauderdale High School. From there, went on to Howard University uh, and actually was into uh, television and worked at CNN my first job out of college. I was a, um, an editor for Headline News. Riles moved back to South Florida where she started her arts career. She learned there was a performing arts center being built in Miami and got a call that there would be an opportunity for her. She did the interview and got the job. That was 20 years ago. My first arts job was at the Black Archives. I was the executive director there and I worked there for quite some time. She says being a woman in the industry, especially in her early years, wasn't always easy, but she says times have certainly changed. It was different <laughs> than it is now. Um, a lot of things I'd say that um, we tolerated 20 years ago, we don't tolerate now. As you know, most performing arts centers, CEOs in the past have been men. Mm -hmm. um, and they probably have mostly been white men, but now that's even changing. You have a lot more women in the field. You have women of color. Riles says she was inspired and encouraged by strong women around her. Riles offers this advice to other women. Is you have to be resilient because there are things in life that you cannot control. Um, and some of those things are not pleasant, but you have to be able to rebound from that. Mm, good advice. Well, mm -hmm. the Trailblazers told us that one of the things that they love most about the Arsh Center is, is its commitment to community engagement. They told us that more than half a million students have enjoyed programs at the center, many of them free of charge. Mm. The center hosts about 400 performances and events each year, which attract an average of 450,000 people to Miami's urban core. You never know what kind of dream that might ignite in a child, you know, going to a show. Mm. That's the news.